Crohn's disease is a chronic idiopathic relapsing immune mediated disorder which can affect any part of the gastrointestinal tract from mouth to anus. It is characterized by patchy transmural chronic inflammation, sometimes with granulomas, with fissures, with neuromuscular hypertrophy strictures, and also fistulas. Here we have the ileum affected by the Crohn's disease. On lower magnification, well, we can see multiple deep ulcers and ulcerations and in between the ulcers there are areas of partially preserved mucosa uh, which creates so-called pseudopolyps. Uh, macroscopically this is responsible for so-called cobblestone appearance where these pseudopolyps are uh, the cobblestones and the ulcerations are the gaps in between the, uh, the cobblestone pavement the chronic inflammation is typically transmural, so we can find it in the mucosa, submucosa, but also in the lamina muscularis propria, and also in the subserosal fat. On higher magnification, we can see distortion of the crypt architecture. The crypts are irregular, branching. Uh, here we have the crypt drop out, or atrophic areas without any crypts. The lamina propria is infiltrated mostly by lymphocytes and plasma cells, uh, but the patchy neutrophilic infiltration is present as well. Here we can find the neutrophils inside of the epithelium of the crypt, which is called cryptitis. Uh, the presence of the lymphocytes and plasma cells in the basal part of the lamina propria is called basal lymphoplasmocytosis, and uh, this is the typical sign for both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Normally the crypts should go all the way from the surface to the lamina muscularis mucosae, but here, uh, here we have the chronic inflammation and infiltration of the basal part of the lamina propria. In this part we can see an ulceration with a superficial purulent fibrinous exudate with fibrin and dense neutrophilic infiltration. The lamina muscularis propria is typically hypertrophic together with the hypertrophy of the nerve bundles and uh, that uh, typically clinically creates strictures. This is another case of terminal ileum affected by the Crohn's disease and here we can appreciate the typical skip lesion where the part of the wall is not affected by the inflammation, it looks completely normal and then we have transition into the severely inflamed area which which is here then if we go if, uh, if we go closer we can see the crypt abscess irregular crypts distortion of the architecture of the crypts and transmural inflammation here we can even find a small granuloma with epithelioid cells and multinucleated giant cells uh, which is typical for Crohn's disease however it is not always present Inflammatory bowel disease in general is associated with increased risk for development of dysplasia and colorectal carcinoma and uh, it is also associated with increased risk for uh, B-cell lymphomas as maltoma and for T-cell lymphomas as for example enteropathy associated T-cell lymphoma. Thanks for watching.